Hello, and welcome to Start Your Systems TV. This is our second channel on Start Your Systems, which is now where the home of a lot of our live stream content will live. And a lot of the things that we do kind of behind the scenes sometimes on our Twitch channel that maybe you guys don't get to see. We're gonna be uploading it to our YouTube channel so you guys can see some fun races that we're a part of, limb races, things like that. But this first video is actually of the Race Factory World Super Motocross Championship Series. We live streamed the final moto of the 450 class, kind of caught a little bit of fun action, and actually got to sit in and listen with my teammates on SYS, Ethan Parks and Alex Heckman. So hopefully you guys enjoy the show, sit back and watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, 20 plus one on Daytona with no cam. So this is about to be Liddy 250. It's throwback stream. <laughs> I know, look at this. Third person cams. Carter trying to go 1-1. One, one. We got a sunshine day. Brock Dub. Sunshine day. Thank you for the follow. Oh, How many people have jumped? A lot of guys pushed wide. Carter and Caden Speck. Caden Speck down. Middle second straight away. Oh, oh look else. at that. Heckman Are was you a good start. Me? Oh, Ethan <laughs> oh, no. took him out. I'm sorry. All right, we got I, Carter. I Carter P1, Davis, Sullivan, Parks, Hubbard in the fifth spot. Noah Bendis in sixth. Oh, Ethan, hold it. Hold it, Ethan. I'm back to 18th, Ethan. <laughs> no pressure. So Doolies. Look at Ethan go. Hopping, the whoops. Hopping, hopping. Hopping. Oh, he saved it. Trying to take Hubbard out. I like it. Tactics. <laughs> oh, filthy scrub, too, Ethan. Nice. Devin Davis getting passed for second. Sully up the inside makes the move. And Carter is G-O-N-E. He is gone, folks. Davis down. No, he is into Sullivan, who is down. Parks is in the rolling through this section. Bendis just landed on Davis's back. Parks is up to third. Hubbard second. And Carter, Hubbard, Parks, T-Lang now in the fourth spot. Devin Davis fifth. Adam Holman sixth. Look at the chemistry major out here. Alec Horn seventh. Luke Sullivan eighth. Frank Jackson ninth. And moving into the tenth spot is now Jared Gummison. Lap one in the books. Oh, look at Ethan. He is all over Jacob Hubbard. <laughs> Ethan, if you can hang on to Hubbo till lap six, that's where it really, that's where the difference is made. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Not with that attitude. You got a little gappers on T-Lang. I like it. I like what we're seeing so far. Oh, I love jumping into the back of slow people. We got Carter leading long ways ahead on this straightaway. It is still Hubbard second, Parks third, and you're watching from Tyler Lang's perspective in fourth right now. Blow our way through this rhythm section. Oh, Lang got the triple to the inside. No, he's backed out of it. Jesus, you see this battle for 20th right now. Oh. Parks and Lang, classic battle. You've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> hey, Ethan, what usually side. happens when what usually happens when you battle with Lang? Uh, he kills me. Parks has got a great <laughs> run in the whoops to the left side. Oh, he's hopping. Lang's going to try to push it to the outside. Oh, Parks tries to cut back up underneath. Lang does a little bike humpties. <laughs> oh, he's got all kinds of bike humpties. He's stoked. All right, Carter is... Pulling away at the front. He has grabbed his checkbook, folks. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, Parks. <laughs> oh, down. Almost brought D. Davis with him. He did bring D. Davis with him. D. Davis down as well. Sorry, Davis. So Sully now up into the four spot. He almost went down. And now it is Carter, Hubbard, Lang, oh. Sullivan, Holm, top five. Devin Davis now six. Jackson seventh. Parks is down in eighth. He's got a cluster around him. I got landed on. So Caleb Hall moving into eighth behind Frank Jackson. All these guys running better lap times than I did in four hours of practice today. What are you doing, Ethan? I crashed three times. <laughs> All right. I was not expecting to see you. <laughs> My team holding it down 16th and 17th. I like what we're seeing. Winning the mental game is all that matters. You're still beating uh, Caden Speck, Aaron Rockefeller, Jeff Cooper, Zach Fisher, and... Uh, Yogi, I guess Ezra Lusk is in the server. And Frank Raffiani. <laughs> Braden Castellaneta still back here. Rushing it. All right. 
Carter out here looking smooth as silk at the front, banging into the walls. In a battle for third, Bruin. Sully is up on the rear fender there of the five of Tyler Lang. That cheeky over triple line under the tunnel. Oh my god, that is grease! What a pass by Sullivan up onto the table and off down the inside of T Lang. Over the tunnel into this big double. Whips in his face, Justin Barsha and Ken Roxon style. <laughs> oh, Sullivan sideways, he's off the track, he saves it. Let's oh, T Lang Sullivan. go. Over table triple for both riders into the hip double. And it is Lang and Sullivan three and four on the racetrack, but one and two in your heart right now. And oh, we got downgraded, Ethan. <laughs> oh, Sully goes for the quad. He got it. He's going to triple across. T Lang is trying to fight back. Sullivan jumps off the track. He's going to transfer back on and over the bars. He's down. So Adam Hull moves up into the four ride now. Devin Davis now into the top five, matching his number 55. Hey, Alex, can you take that number 58 for me? <laughs> is he behind me or in front of me? I don't know. I think he's in front of me. Do I watch this Frank Jackson Caleb Hall battle for seventh, or do I go back and watch Alex Heckman try to take out 77 of Jared Gummison for 13th? Oh, he's getting <laughs> saucy. White checks back underneath, goes through the tough blocks, using all the <laughs> strategies. You go to the middle line right here. Let's see if he rails it. He does. He's going to get to the inside and make that pass. Jared Gumbison does not know what hit him. Michigan Mafia's finest, Alex Heckman, is through, but here comes Gumbison quadding back. He's over the bars of death. <laughs> that is going to be a potential free position for Ethan Parks. No, the 77 gets going just in front of him. Ethan, you're falling apart back there, buddy. Yeah, it's, it's going great. <laughs> Frank Raffiani. That is the most New York name I've heard this week. Is right in front of Parks and Gummison in a heated battle for 16th right now. What else we got going on? Oh, we got uh, Nick Men touching his own toes as Alex Heckman goes by. Okay, he killed himself. Oh, 1.2 second lead for Carter. He is falling back to the clutches of Jacob Hubbard. Two teammates finding themselves out front, battling once again. We got about a seven second gap back to T Lang, and Hubbard checked in with a 54 5 for his best lap last time by. Carter did a 54 5 as well, so they're matching pace, but Hubbard seems like he wants a piece of his teammate. Sick of finishing second to him all the time. That on-off quad-quad line, but a little bit not as clean as his three-time Supercross champion teammate ahead of him. Oh, yeah. Let's go over the bars Oh, there. got Heckman going over the bars the opposite direction of our race leaders. Oh, Hubbard goes for the launch to the rollers line. Saving maybe a little bit of time, just grease scrubs that wall jump and then rides that rear tire cleanly to get the over table three into the corner. A little short right there, so lost about two tenths of a second worth of time. Surprised more guys not trying to go for that on the table line out of this corner. Because it's really hard. <laughs> Carter short on the double. Here comes Hubbard with a run in the whoops. Carter just pulling her right back away. T Lang trying to close this gap down. He's got it down to six seconds from third. About Devin Davis with a solid ride. He is still in fourth, just ahead of Frank Jackson, who is in and out of the tough blocks. Sully now back to sixth. Rough couple laps for the 11. We got Noah Bendis in down there, Ethan. Adam Hall, 8th. Alec Horn, ninth. Pachone, 10th. Castellaneta, 11th. Rogers, 12th. Heckman now into the 13th spot. Gummison, 14th. 
Caleb Hall 15th. Nick Men in 16th. Parks, he was down. He's in 17th. Rockefeller 18th. Cooper 19th. And Raffiani rounding out the top 20. Yogi's 21st. Caden Speck 22nd. Zach Fisher 23rd. And Kellen Brower in warm-up in 24th. Uh-oh, change for the lead. Hubbard quads over Carter to get it done. So can Carter fight back? His oh, two oh, oh. are <laughs> gone. It's almost teammate, teammate crime right there. That's the bad one. Oh, yeah. I just killed that guy. I feel like Carter here wants to rough up Hubbard a little bit. Show him who's boss on the team. Still got that nice little wheelie overlying oh! cleanly to the inside. Shows him a wheel. Ethan, I died trying to avoid you. <laughs> Outside, there's the table line for Carter. That's a huge time saver, but he almost goes down with a swap diddly. Is that the technical term? That is the technical term as Carter almost goes through the front door. Oh, huge run in the whoops. Is he going to go to the inside? Not quite. Still just three tenths in it for the race lead, though, as the teammates battle it out. Big fat scrub for Carter. They're trying to give you a replay of the best battle in MX Simulator history. I know, from A2 uh, earlier this year in the Triple Crown. On off quad, Carter's a little short. That's going to cost him some time. Not going to get the preferred option through here. And Hubbard is to open up a nice little two-second advantage. Lap traffic, though, coming into play. The 94, Ken Roxon moves aside. Oh, Hubbard through the tough blocks a little bit right there. That is how good these guys are. They're lapping Ken Roxon. Oh, unbelievable. You hate to see it for the German. <laughs> Step on off quad. Carter thought he was going a little bit long. Works out fine. T laying 11 seconds back. Sullivan now back into fourth as D. Davis holds on to a top five spot. Bendis down in seventh is going to lose that spot to Alec Horn, who does a little tire tapsies over him. Horn might actually get Jackson, who is down. Jackson getting back on the track a little bit sideways is going to lose that spot back to seventh. So a two for Alec Horn now into the sixth spot. He's on Phil's B-B-A-W-T-H-Y. I don't know if that stands for Babalthi or <laughs> not sure what we're going for there. Oh, Jackson, he's going for the cheater lines. Like that Mitch Butler off the track lines. All the quad in. Quad again, a little deep. I got revenge. Nice. Good line. All right, battle for the lead. Back on Carter side by side. Dooleys. Into the whoops we go. Carter with a better run, but he's swapping and he goes down. Does he take Hubbard with him? No. Hubbard kind of hip checks him and pushes him out of the way and retains the race lead. Carter now going to pick it up the wrong direction. We'll rejoin the track the opposite side, but still has a sizable advantage over Lang. Well, he went for it. <laughs> and it this game is came hilarious. Apart. <laughs> oh, Sullivan is down. In fourth, that is going to be Devin Davis trying to close up and move back into fourth. Sullivan gets going with an okay drive in the whoops. Yeah, he's okay. All good there. All right, let's find ourselves some battles. How about Frank Jackson and Alec Horn still going at it for six into the whoops? Yeah, this game. <laughs> <laughs> I had the most spectacular crash ever and collected someone with me and they just oh. barely tipped over and got left. <laughs> Rip. Thinking of rest in peace, Alec Horn's front end just gave up on him like a Marty Davila special edition. He is now back to seventh. Might be worse. Almost went down right there and Bendis is going to quad. Triple by, I should say. Oh, Horn crossing back over. Might have him back, though. And here comes Castellaneta. We got three riders in the final turn battling for seventh. 13 minutes into this thing. Oh, swapped Italy's for Horn. Crossing back over is Bendis into the sand. He's going to try the outside oh, line. Oh, rip through the inside, though. Back and forth we go with Horn and Bendis. And Castellaneta's just 
chopping at the bit, hoping to get by either of them. Might have a shot at Bendis, who did not get the preferred rhythm line right there, but Castellaneta not able to downside the quad well enough. It gives Horn a little bit more breathing room. Don't die, Ethan. Try not to. I just crashed three times. <laughs> What's with you? If you crash <laughs> once, you crash in two more times. <laughs> I went from 12th to 18th, I left. Oh, yeah. Let's slide around there. But it's going to happen right here between these riders. Like it's maybe actually stretching oh, out ever God. so slightly. Castellaneta. No snow of Bendis. A wheel on the inside is going to try the inside again and pushes the nose over. Front end tuck. Loses a bit of time. Does not fall off the bike. So will retain the ninth position. Looking forward, I think Frank Jackson was near Devin Davis, but uh, he's lost a little bit of time. 10 second lead now for Hubbard with five minutes left to go in this one. Keep searching back. Alec Horn down after the whoops is going to lose a spot to Castellaneta. Horn back to ninth. Adam Holm occupies the 10th position. Jared Gummison is 11th. Schoen 12th. Rogers 13th. Hall 14th. Rockefeller 15th. And here comes Ethan Parks. Got the uh, Three riders right in front of him for the pickings. Oh, Caleb Hall down oh, off the right oh side. No, 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 no. Oh, you've been going a little <laughs> bit long. Hey, uh, how big of a lead does Hubbard have? Ten seconds. Should I take him out and make this thing interesting? <laughs> Come on. It can't be that foul play. <laughs> I met Hubbard in real life. He's really chill, so I think he'll still be okay. Oh. Rockefeller down. That's a freebie there for Parks. Parks has got, checks up, goes two, three, on, off, three, and is going to get a free spot again because Caleb Ooh. Hall no longer has testicles. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> so Rogers next up for Parks. He's certainly going to run him down and Chone as well. Especially when you're putting 57 eights down like it's nobody's business 16 and a half minutes into a moto. Is that what you just did, Ethan? I guess so. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Is that better? That's almost your qualifying time. Reese is the quad quad. No pressure at all either. I mean, he knows he's being watched. <laughs> Instantly implodes. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it close, a little bit long on the wall jump right there. I'll have the record show that I let Hubbard by like a good lapper. Very nicely done, very nice. Parks, the safe line, I like it. I do approve as a team owner. <laughs> Someone has to pay for them broken parts. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to see you, uh, OJ. Oh, and he's going to get a freebie again because Tanner Rogers is down. Up to 13th. Swerves are so scary. All right, Parks. Next up for him is Anthony Pichon. He is going faster than him by the tune of a second a lap. So at this rate, he will be there in 4.7 laps. Take a minute and imagine if real life, this was Daytona in real life. That'd be pretty long. Uh, I think that that is more of the tri-oval than there is in real life. <laughs> I don't think there's as much space. Right, yeah. A little battle brewing for six. Castellaneta and Noah Bindis. Anything else a Bruin? Not really. 13 second lead for Hubbard. Watch this one instead. <clears throat> it was the only Honda Dino running tonight, Noah Bindis. Oh, he's 
going long. Going long on that double. Gotta be extra careful. It's battle for oh, 15th. It's legit. Is down. Speaking of battles, Ethan Parks and Alec Horn. Death battle and Horn jumping through the tough blocks somehow to not go down right there. Oh, Parks crossing over. I like the defensive lines right here. Oh, sick dually scrubs. Alec Horn knows he's on stream. Just did a little bit of bike humping as well. Oh, he Parks is thinking about it and he gives him the business. Oh, I love to see it. The aggression pouring out of Ethan Parks' left earlobe right now. I'm gonna die. Comes Adam Holm next for Parks. He is fired up and Alec Horn speaking of fired up man he has got the fire in his belly right now Adam Holm doesn't know what's about to hit him <laughs> oh Parks with the cheeky little off track line to triple and case all good though Horn did not get the rhythm clean behind him so Parks trying to get into that top 10 might have a shot at it here Alec Horn is uh, or Adam Holm I should say is getting around a lapped rider I don't know who that is Like what we're seeing out of the SYS team tonight. Oh! As we take a look at Alex Heckman letting Braden Carter go by. Ooh. Oh, white flag. A Hubbard out front, circulating on the final lap of this one. Oh, he has got this thing dialed. Even electing to not go for the big boy lines. Doesn't hurt him, though. Oh, Lang almost went down at a third, or fourth, I should say. Devin Davis is creeping. Speaking of down, Raiden Carter is down at a second, and down again, a double fall off. So that might help Sullivan get close enough to him, but Hubbard oh. has a massive lead now. We got an oh coming from Alex Heckman. He's down at a 17th. Gives up a spot to Jeff Cooper. Ethan Parks is into the top 10. Adam Holm, doesn't matter if he's a former world champion. Ethan Parks has got him absolutely covered tonight. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most <laughs> unsure yeah I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me just battling with Braden Carter real quick. Well, Ethan Parks staring down the barrel of a 20.3 second gap to Jared Gummison for ninth. I would almost guarantee he's going to catch him on this final lap. No pressure. <laughs> Team laying down out of fourth is going to give a spot to Devin Davis up into the four position for the 55 machine. And uh, up front, got a few corners left to go for Jacob Hubbard. He survived the sixth lap of the race and six times two is 12 laps. He's on lap 12 now. He survived this one as well. As I say that, he yard sails from the lead, but he'll be fine. <laughs> going to get up 10 seconds ahead of his teammate, who is oh, also Carter going down. down again. And Sullivan is going to take over the two spot because of it. So the I just got to pass this guy because he thought I was... Is <laughs> over. Hubbard doubling his way towards the flag and let someone else go by. But Moto2, and I believe the overall goes to Jacob Hubbard as he wins it here. At Daytonar, Sullivan and Alex Heckman death battle for the flag for second and 16th. Brayden Carter comes across in third. Devin Davis is in fourth. Castellaneta now fifth. So T-Lang warmed up his arm real nice throughout this moto to absolutely toss it away on this final lap. <laughs> oh, but going down is Castellaneta. So Lang gifted the fifth position. Bendis looks like he's got seventh locked up. Jackson in eighth. Gummison in ninth. Hopping through those whoops. Ethan Parks has got it locked for a top ten right now. I don't know. If he crashes, he will crash two more times. So, <laughs> well, Never quite know. It's like uh, Alec Horn is the last runner on the lead lap in 14th. Let's see Ethan Parks bring us home as he is just... Clutching up through those whoops right now. So he started, what, you started in fourth? You got into third. 
went back to 18th, then you got to 12th, then you went back to 16th to get all the way back to 10th. And probably most passes made. <laughs> probably. And most probably positions most lost. <laughs> Look at that. Well done, Ethan Parks. Top 10. Top 10. You got a 157-000. He may not be a stepdad, but he is the dad that stepped up tonight. Yeah. Sean <laughs> crosses the line in 11th. Adam Holm 12th. Tanner Rogers will be 13th. And Alec Horn will be 14th. Jeff Cooper, Alex Ekman, Frank Raffiani, Caleb Hall, Aaron Rockefeller, Nick Men, Zach Fisher, Yogi, Caden Speck is your running order with this one tonight. Luke Sullivan rating with a party of 14. Hello, Soli fans. How are we doing after your man just moved up into P2 on the final lap of that race? Let's see if we can give a cheeky call to Jacob Hubbard here real quick. See if we can catch the old hubbo slacking. Let's see here. What do we got? Alex, he almost beat me. Try to give Jacob Jacob Hubbard a little bit of a call right here. Oh, oh, he's just doing laps. He might not hear us in Discord. Might be uh might be in a do not disturb. I'm having a great night, Sullivan. How are you? After that P two. I don't think Hubbard's gonna answer the call. So let's see if we can instead give a, a quick little call here to Braden Carter, who might also not answer the call. See what went wrong here tonight. Oh, Hubbard! Hubbard's gonna try to get me back. We'll 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 talk to Carter first if he can pick up the phone. Carter might not be here either. Hello. What's up, Braden? How we doing tonight? What's up, dude? I'm just chilling, man. Oh, I like to see it, but uh, chilling in third, man. What the hell, man? You fell completely apart on the last lap. Yeah, you know we were we we're going for it. Went Does, a little too hard and we crashed. Did that ruin the Phil's perfect season? You guys were one two. Uh, no, I actually got Luke on cuts. So. Oh, look at that, cuts coming into play again. <laughs> but what yeah, the hell, man? Cheating. You had you had the lead. Hubbard closed on you. You guys duked it out, and then you just started falling apart. I don't. I, th this is not three time champion level stuff we're seeing right here. You know, Hubbard got in my mental, so <clears> I, I couldn't I couldn't hang. Yeah, definitely couldn't hang tonight. What did you think of this track, though? It looked pretty gnarly. Um, I mean, it's interesting. I didn't enjoy it that much, but... <laughs> Too outdoorsy for you? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> All right, really well... really hard. I don't know if you played it. Yeah. But some of the sections, man, they're just like... Well, you freaking aliens going on off 4 3 4, four whatever the heck it is, through the turning rhythm section, like, I'm out. You guys, you're good <laughs> with that, so... But, yeah, uh, that one's hard. But yeah, figured we're streaming it, so we'll give you a call and check in on you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna call Hubbo now and see how he feels about beating you. Yeah, I'm sure he feels great. <laughs> we were in a call, so uh, you maybe you should just join the Phil's Discord, dude. No, I'm gonna call him. We're gonna oh, okay. we're gonna cold call him here. Hubbo. Yo. You got hey, the man. dub. I did. I almost threw. Dude, you. You just had it dialed though. You were reeling him in like he was fish on the end of a lure. <laughs> For sure, dude. I, I, dude, I'm pissed that Sully lost uh, second on cuts because that means that me and Carter would have gone into the, the next round tied on points. For a points lead. How long is this series? Five rounds. Five rounds, yeah. Oh, so man. I would have gone in. I would have gone in tied to the fourth round, which is my track. Well. Now you know what it means. You just have to beat him next week so you go and tie to the finale. I have to go 1-1 one, because one, everyone else sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you passed him. Only. You passed him initially, I think, on the fourth lap, but then the real battle seemed to come on the sixth lap. Were you feeling the sixth lap pressure tonight? <laughs> Dude, we were in a call, and I was like, yeah, bro, just wait till lap six. I'll be on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then Carter ends up eating, eating the dirt right in front of me. And the whoops section, and somehow I stayed up. I don't know how that worked. Yeah, I need you to talk me through how you stop because uh, I would have just kept it pinned. Uh, 
So I was fifth gear bogging it through the whoops, and I just kind of, like, let off the, the gas. Like, I kind of saw him swapping, and I was like, okay, just let off the gas a little bit and uh, try to slow down, because he was coming over with his swap. You don't know where he's going to go. <laughs> I thought I was dead, but apparently I was going slow enough to where, like, I hit his bike and was able to come to a stop. Fair enough, fair enough. I like to see it. Uh, what do you think of this track? Uh, Carter didn't like it. It was too outdoorsy for him, but what about you? <laughs> I didn't really like it either. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was so fast. It looked so high speed. It was just... Some of the sections were really weird. Like the... Um, you got that raised rhythm, and then right at the end of it, before you go under the over-under, you got that like little weird raised... I don't know, jump, you jump onto the table and then you can triple off single or you can like jump over and then triple. Mm -hmm. That, that rhythm was so hard to get right. It felt so RNG and same with the rhythm right before the finish, like the turning rhythm. That one was really hard. Yeah. But the all the other sections were, were pretty, not too bad in my opinion. The turning rhythm, I, I did like two hours on the track today. I never once thought that you could go on off quads. So I don't know what kind of like uh, alien setups you guys got loaded in those suspension, but that's pretty big on off quad to go triple then quad over quad through there. I don't even know how you guys think of that stuff. It was like, I think I was playing the track yesterday and I was just like, okay, this turning rhythm is going to be really complicated. So I was just like, what's the line through here? And people were going to fucking clown me for this. But I went into time trial, set it like a timing gate up, and then before that rhythm to kind of practice it, instead of going into a server and trying to run laps immediately. And I didn't know that quad was possible, but I just kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what how I figured it out, but it was like, if you sent it, you would come up short on the quad. So it was like, okay, just get it a little bit harder and get a good drive off the off and you'll be, you'll be dialed. Fair enough. I never would have thought of it. So you guys are aliens, and I will stand by that uh, all the way until I continue calling the races next year. Uh, but yeah, so now what? Three back, I guess, right? With with two rounds two, to go. Two back. Two, two back. back. Yeah. Two back. Two rounds to go. But you got to go through your teammate to get it done. Are we punting him at any point for this championship? I don't think so. If I punt him, it wouldn't be intentional mm -hmm. because uh, I almost cleaned him in the first meta earlier today. Uh, a couple of times because I was just trying to go for big lines and I got sketchy right behind him and I hit him a couple of times. We both stayed up though, but yeah, that's, uh, me and Carter raced pretty clean. So that that's the PC answer just because there's it's being streamed right now. You don't want to give away your dirty secrets. I, I know it's okay. <laughs> We're good. We'll see the punt when it happens. Uh, but th thanks for jumping on a call with me, man. Uh, cool little last moto to call right there. And uh, yeah, you guys made it fun for a couple laps. We thought we were going to get the A2 Moto 1 rematch right there. I'd, I'm and not, Carter okay, blew so, up. So I'm not as fast as, as Carter. And everyone knows this. I'm not like, especially on a track like this where there's more like skill gap, there's higher speeds outdoors. Like, I definitely don't have that raw speed that, that Carter has. So I'm, I was trying to play the consistent game and it it worked it almost didn't work until the last rhythm almost last didn't lap. work but it did work tonight you got it, did it dialed work. it well, did work well congrats on the dub and uh thank thanks for you, thank thanks you. for answering the call man i know that uh no you, problem. Guys, you guys don't always like hanging out on the stream so i i, I get it but thanks for answering the call <laughs> no problem man all right see you hubbo later man all right, that is race winner Jacob Hubbard and his teammate Braden Carter, who threw it away tonight.